Hello, all my friendly fiends, and welcome back to our Little Nightmares playthrough. Little Nightmares 2, to be precise. Today, we are hopefully finishing the game. I got a good, good feeling that this is the end of the, the game. We faced a shadow man, a weird school teacher, a doctor of some sort, I guess, if you want to call him that, and a hunter. And uh, we are finally at a long twisty hallway where hopefully at the end of it is our friend, Mr. Frodo, because uh, they were kidnapped by the Shadow Man. Um, and we took him down. It was really cool and awesome. Uh, but we are... Gosh. We gotta go. We gotta save our friend. Oh, the door opens for us. Is this our realm now? Is this my world? Because I want this to be my world. Where I'm the king of it all now. How dare! Fine. Oh god, it's a- what is it? M.C. Escher painting? I gotta go find my- gotta go find Mr. Frodo! Mr. Frodo? Mr. Frodo! Getting anywhere. <laughs> Not sure what I'm supposed to be learning from the game, but I don't think this is the right door. Can I close it? Nope. Does it? Oh, yes. Yes. Close the door. Okay. Can I grab it and close it? Come on, cl close the door. Okay. It's not actually supposed to close. following the music. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's the trick. It's like Zelda. That's not my door because it doesn't have the sweet ocarina playing. Alright, this is it. Oh. God dang. Two and a half D perspective. Do you not see these glasses in front of my face? I'm blind. I can't tell. <laughs> I can't tell where I am. I'm gonna find you, Mr. Frodo. I don't know how this story ends. I hope it's a good ending. Like a happy one. That's not it. Alright, it is this one. Oh, oh, okay. I push the door here. But I don't go through. Alright, run, 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 yes. Oh, 
I'm a smart cookie. Yes. I know how to <laughs> I know how to play with portals. I've played that game before. <laughs> if there's anything that I my brain has been trained to do, it is to think with portals. Back corner one? Yes. Oh. Alright, so it's none of them. <laughs> that didn't work. Oh, okay, let me push the freaking log down. Duh, I thought it was a pillar. Can you blame me for thinking it was a pillar? It looks very pillar-esque. Okay, so I go in this one, come out of that one, then I go over here. Oh, how dainty. Ugh, the static. I'm getting closer, I've got to be, I think. box that I first met him. Mr. Frodo! This was our music box together. Oh, what happened to your arm? It's okay, Mr. Frodo. Mr. Frodo? to call. Thank you for spelling it out. into shape. I'm gonna break your music box because I think that's the right thing to do. I think I did the right thing. This definitely seems like a good ending. an axe. There's an axe. 
just gonna fall. Oh no, I, I get to grab this one. Okay, good. I was worried someone was gonna bust through somewhere and then it just, you know, fall on me. Not. I'm gonna have to do this again, buddy. Okay, maybe not. Oh. Oh, he did not like that at all. <laughs> oh, dear. Mr. Frodo, I feel very sad that, um, that you feel this way and that we are in this kind of nightmare hellscape. But I'm trying my best. I am trying my best. Ugh. Man, I'd love to know what this all means because I am so- I love it, but I am so confused. those portals work. I actually forgot. I was like, oh, I'll pop over in the corner. That's fine. This whole last section is just one boss level. Which is amazing. Like, this has been lots of fun. Enjoying facing Mr. Frodo. As, um... As a nightmare demon. Uh... Oh god, it's over there now! Oh! He can reach- okay. You know what makes sense? He got some long arms. This way? 
Double tap. <gasps> Mr. Frodo, are you normal again? Mr. Frodo? Are we good, Mr. Frodo? I think we got one more run in us, Mr. Frodo. One more run where I suck. Mr. Frodo, because I've always sucked at these. Oh god, why the eyeballs? Very creative, very wonderful. <laughs> I like Mr. Frodo's paws, like, oh, my friend, they died. Oh, well. Gotta keep moving on. I'm gonna get this one. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I'm sure it won't take nearly as long as the others did. Three hours later. I did it! I did it, I gripped it, even though it wouldn't let me grip before. I don't know what changed, but something changed. And now I'm allowed to grip things again. No, go friends. Go, Mr. Frodo. Go, Mr. Frodo. Frodo! Are you gonna... Please don't let me go, Mr. Frodo. We'll be friends. Oh, well. Goodbye, Mr. Frodo. I guess this explains why you're alone in the first game. <laughs> betrayed. Super duper betrayed. I am the goop. I am in the goop. You know, even though I've been betrayed, part of me still loves Mr. Frodo. I mean, the po we, you know, we love all parts of him, including the part uh, that's a troublemaker, you know? Oh, is that the shadow man's chair? Oh, all the eyes are staring at me. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, 
this is horrifying. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. I can't move. Oh, but poor Baghead is super sad. Becoming the shadow man. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. I'm growing into a real boy. <laughs> I don't know what this means. Do I find a cool top hat? Do I find a cool hat somewhere? I've spent an awful long time here. Getting longer limbs. Is that my superpower? Oh, I did find my hat. I found my hat. Became the Shadow Man. So, <laughs> oh, that's good. Creepy, but good, but also very creepy. But very good, but very creepy. I am behind the door that I ask myself to come open. Do I unlock the sick hat now? Like, do I just get that hat if I ever play through this again? Right. And that's it. <laughs> that's the thing. That's wow. Like my immediate thought is just like what a f fun creepy experience. Uh it was a little teensy bit frustrating, especially those run and jump parts. Um, but I'm not entirely sure if that's a fault of the game or a fault of me because I suck at platforming, so that could probably, was supposed to be fairly easy and um, my hands just would not do the things that they were supposed to do. So I don't want to blame the game for that if it's just me being an awful player but other than that this was like a really fun experience i remember the first game being super creepy i remember having a lot more people just all around um and this one was definitely more uh i want to say more environmentally horrifying uh than the last one there was still a lot of creepiness in the last one, but this one a lot of more like specificity and like there's like the key people who are chasing after you and then there are tiny, you know, like there are some other people like those, the people who were absorbed in like with the TV, like who were focused on it at the very end. Obviously they were there, but they were very, it was very different feel to the first game where it just felt like you were alone and 
there is everybody else was this weird big huge creature except for like the little gnome creatures uh so this one this one definitely had a very cool feel that was different from the first one that i really enjoyed because of that difference so it's <laughs> It was just fun. This was just a really fun game to puzzle through, have a bit of, of fear and scares. And now I'm really curious about the lore and like, what really happened? Why did Mr. Frodo decide to let me, let me go? Why did I become the shadow man? You know, what are our superpowers? What are we? <laughs> I don't know what we are, um, where we are, anything. Uh, so it makes me very curious. I really want to like dive into this world now, which I think is a great indicator of just how interesting and how fun the world building for this series is that you kind of come back to it and you go like, well, now I have questions. And even though the game is over and I've beaten the game, I still want to come back and see if I touch all of the the specter people. Do I get a different ending? Do I learn something else? Do I get all the hats? You know, all that kind of stuff. So, um, I really just, I really had a lot of fun with this game. And I hope you guys did too. And I hope maybe you guys got a little bit of creeps, a little bit of spooks, a little bit of scares uh, from this game too. I certainly did. Uh, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye bye Hold on! The video isn't done just yet. Because I learned after finishing this last part that there was a secret ending. And you know I had to get it. So I spent two hours and 30 minutes playing through every single one of those levels again to collect all the little glitch people that I missed before. So I hope you appreciate what I went through because I did that entire hospital level one more time just so he could get this secret ending. So without further ado, enjoy. Here we are. Secret. Okay. Hello. Betrayer of trust. Harbinger of doom. Oh no! <laughs> it's Shadow Link! Facing against his real self! This was the origin for the Water Temple all along. Oh no! They're hungry now. Okay. Interesting. I'm guessing that that's the- oh, this is how they get the idea to go to the first game's location. I'm going to assume that's what that little cutscene is for. And you know what? Gotta say, probably wasn't worth the two and a half hours <laughs> to get there. But I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I got it so that I could say that I did and I can get the achievements, even though I can't get the hat achievement because I don't have the DLC, so I can't get two of the hats anyway. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and the secret ending, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye bye